Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome to this tutorial. I'm starting a new series today called Sony Vegas for Beginners. It's a new series where people who've never used Sony Vegas before or people who have just started using Vegas or have used it before but then totally forgot all about it. This this series is going to be for those people, people who've never used it before and want to learn more about it. So, I'll be posting a new tutorial every Saturday for basic tutorials in Sony Vegas. In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to make basic 3D text. Now, 3D text is a very powerful effect to do, and once you learn how to use it, you can put it into other effects in the future. So, once you learn it, it really unlocks a lot of new doors. So, what we want to do is open up a new preset. Now, if we go to File and New, we can hit No for that. We'll, brought up, we'll be brought up with the new project window. Now for the template, we want it to be set at NTSC DV widescreen. This is a HD template, and you can basically view your video or your template, or your project, I guess you could say, in HD. Okay, so once it's loaded, we want to go to the presets at the bottom and find media generators, and then find text. Now, media generators, before I even get into text, media generators are very, very powerful tools, and once you learn how to use them, jeez, you can do so many things with them. Because they might th seem so basic, but they are so useful. And I never even noticed that until not too long ago. Um, I did make a tutorial all about media generators, so you can go check that out on my channel. Anyway, we're going to be focusing on text today because, you know, 3D text. So, they give you a few basic presets that you can use. But you can also use default text, which actually works really well. And you can, you know, make it to look like the presets, which really doesn't require a lot of, you know, thinking. Anyway, we're going to use soft shadow just to, you know, for time's sake. And it'll give you a text box. You can edit your text. You can also change the font. Make sure you highlight your text, though, where it won't change. You can also change the size. And uh, change the... Uh, the outline. And I told you already that I already made a tutorial on this. I'll put the link in the description for that tutorial because I'm sure people want to know how to do a lot of this. Okay. Now let's get into the 3D portion of this tutorial. Now, the, the 3D effect that we're going to be using is called track motion. Track motion is not only for 3D though. It, it, there's oh my god track motion is probably the biggest effect most powerful tool in so in Sony Vegas I know I'm saying that a lot with media generators but but uh, track motion overcomes that I'm telling you track motion is very very key in, in Sony Vegas so the track motion thumbnails right here but that's only for this track if you insert another video track or an audio track, I know I think it's just video track, you're going to have another track motion tab just for this track. You're not going to have, you know, track motion for each video or each clip. If you had had a clip right here and a clip right here on the same track, and you had edited this this track with the track motion, this clip will look exactly the same from this one, just different, you know, color and everything. That's why you need to put the other video on a separate track. Um, you should do this if you're making intros or anything that requires more than one clip. So, in our case, we don't really need another clip, or we only need one video, so, yeah. So, let's actually click on that track motion and see what we get. Aha! We get a nice little pop-up window. Now, let me tell you, this pop-up window is a very powerful window. <laughs> um, and basically, if you see, we have this nice little square that we can actually move our text around just like that. You can also use the arrow keys. And we have a little L in the middle. This little L helps you line up with the square, because this has a Y and X, and that has a Y and X. So two L's have to line up to be right in the middle. Um, but that's only in source alpha. We want to change this source alpha preset to 3D source alpha. So go to the left, top left hand corner and find 3D source alpha. Okay, once in here, we'll get three new windows, top left and front. 
Think of these as kind of security cameras. They're looking at different angles of the text or of the video. So you can take these and move them around and they'd work just fine. So if we were to take the top and click on it, they'd move the top. And then we can double click on that to go back. If you click on the left, it would move the left. And you can move it the opposite way to move the right. So this is left and right. I don't know why they just called it left. It's left and right. So, yeah. Also, we have front. We can click on the front. It'll move the front. Now, we also have the master mo movement. Think of this as like the master video camera that catches everything in the surveillance cameras. These are like basics. These caps. This captures everything. This can basically move the, the text in any direction you want it to. So if we were to drag this, you can move it that way, you can move it up, you can move it side to side. Oh man, the possibilities are just endless. Now you can also zoom in on each of the presets. So I can zoom in on this one, I can zoom in on that one, or maybe I don't want to zoom on this one, but I can also zoom on the front. And I can have a better perspective of where I am in the, in the timeline. You can also make this a little bigger. And for sakes of not having a big enough monitor, we can take this little uh, dot thing right here and drag the video preview out. So we can have this a little bigger. So we can work from it better and have this little preview just right here. There we go. Alright, now I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit. But w once we have that, we can basically, I'll put that in actually. You can basically just take it and move it around to where we want. We can also click outside of this little circle and move it back and forth. It's like that. So if I want, I'm basically going to move it left and right. And I might move it up a little bit. So I'll take the top or the front and move it up. There we go. That looks okay. Alright. Let's bring this down a little bit. Okay, now not only can you do this, because this actually can be really annoying, because sometimes it won't click and drag the right place where you want it to, you can actually set it to an exact coordination on where you want to put it. So let's say I wanted this to be a certain coordination. It'll coordinate with it. This is really cool. And that's that. Actually, don't use the rotation or anything. Use the position. That works a lot better. You can also try out the rotation. You have keyframes as well in workspace and snap settings. I've never used these, though. <laughs> okay. Now, let's say you wanted to animate this text because this text is you know, very boring. It's just a logo, pretty much. You can basically you know, just have a picture. Now, if you want to just have a picture, you can also hit the, s the snapshot button, which is right here, the save snapshot to file button and save a new snapshot right there. But we're not going to do that. We're going to animate it. So go back into the track motion. We see you see we have a track right here, a timeline right here. So we can take this timeline bar, move it out just a little bit and actually extend this a little. Go back into track motion. Maybe have it right around uh, there. You see, when we move the timeline in here, it'll move on the actual track. So now all we have to do is move it to a new point. So we can maybe zoom in on it, move it around. There we go. Now it'll only take the basic like only some of the the movements it's not going to take all of them especially if you use the perspective window if you use the other ones they should work a lot better because they'll have you know one movement as you see if we get out of that and play it the video will move and your your keyframes will be right here which is actually really helpful cuz you you don't have to you can basically move them around to make it faster and slower which is which saves you a lot of time from going back into the track 
motion window and you know editing on them. So you can move them back in. Goes a little faster. There we go. We have movement of text. And that's all you have to do to move and make 3D text. Now I'm also going to do one more thing. If you wanted this to be on a background color, you'd have to have an, a background color. So let's say we wanted, I don't know, blue. There we go. It'll move just right. Now you can't have, you know, you can't go into here and change the background color to this because I want to show you what happens if you do. If you change this to maybe blue. Or wait, no. We want that at white. If we change this to blue, look what happened. Ugh, it looks really bad, you know? It looks horrible because it's not just moving the text, it's moving the whole picture. And if you were going to do this, you'd have to use the eyedropper and have it just right in. Now, you can do that. I'm not saying that you can't. You just have to do that for it to look right. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any other suggestions for other for basic tutorials for Sony Vegas, please comment below. I'll be sure to use them. I'll try to use them. And because I, you know, I don't have I'm trying to think of ideas for you know for for this stuff, I don't really have that many. So comments, tell me how I did. Because I think I blabbered on a little too much. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.